As we noted earlier, project management involves the coordination of several interconnected activities and several diverse actors, typically from different functional departments. Having broken down the project into smaller activities, we need to list the interdependencies among these activities. Which activity must be completed before another one can proceed? Which activities are independent and can be conducted simultaneously? What timeline should be set for these activities that will accomplish all the activities in the best possible manner? Consider the following example. Suppose I am looking to construct a garden shed in my backyard. I identify all the different activities that need to be conducted. Then I estimate the time required for each. There is a total of 43 days worth of work involved. Further, I express the interdependencies among these activities in terms of each activity's immediate predecessor, that is, the preceding activity that must be completed before each activity can proceed. Let me now try to put these activities on a timeline. Activity A does not have any predecessors, so it can start right away. It takes three days. Activity B can start once A is completed. It takes five days. Like A, C also can start right away. D has to wait until B is completed. E has to wait for both B and C to be completed, which essentially means until B is completed. F has to wait for both D and E. G also has to wait for both D and E. H has to wait for F. I and J have to wait for G. Finally, K has to wait for H, I and J. We call this timeline of the project as the Gantt chart. Thus, the earliest we can complete this project is in 28 days. There is a big assumption I'm making when I say that the project can be completed in 28 days. Suppose I told you that the persons who will be working on this garden shed are me, myself, and I. Can I really finish 43 days of work within 28 days? Well, I suppose I can handle it. I only have to be at two places at once on most days, and three places at once on days 17 and 18. A lesser human being, on the other hand, will have to stretch out all the activities sequentially and take all of 43 days. As you can see here, even though some of the activities are independent in terms of precedence requirements, which allows them to be conducted in parallel, Resource constraints can cause the activities to become sequential. For example, activities F and G can run in parallel as far as the precedence requirements are concerned. However, suppose both of these activities require a particular tool, and I own only one such tool. Unless I can rent another tool, the activities will have to become sequential. Likewise, even if I have enough tools, if both the activities involve the same nook in the shed, I can't possibly fit two individuals in that space at the same time. Now I am going to mark some of the activities in red and call this string of activities as the critical path. Do you notice anything special about these activities? For one thing, these activities stretch in a contiguous line from the beginning to the end of the project. What happens if we delay one of these activities, say F? Instead of finishing on day 15, what if it finishes only by day 16? H is dependent on F, so it will be pushed out one day. K is dependent on H, so it will also be pushed out by one day. So the entire project is going to be delayed by one day because F was delayed by one day. Thus, the critical activities appear to form the backbone of the project.
if this string of activities is stretched, the entire project will be stretched. The same does not apply to the rest of the activities. Consider C, for example. C is a predecessor for E, so even if it finishes only by day 8, nothing is going to happen. Meanwhile, E is a predecessor for F and G. So E itself can be delayed as long as it finishes by day 12. That means C can be further delayed to finish by day 10. G is a predecessor for I and J, so it cannot be delayed without delaying both of them. However, I and J can both be delayed as long as they finish by day 21. Therefore, G can be delayed to finish by day 18. The activities C, E, G, I, and J can be delayed without causing the entire project to be delayed. Thus, there is a little cushion available in these non-critical activities, which is not available in the critical activities. We say that these non-critical activities have a certain amount of slack. We need to be careful in interpreting the word slack. Does that mean we can afford to slack off when it comes to these activities? Consider activity J that takes three days and has two days of slack available. Suppose we slacked off with this activity and spent five days on it instead of three days. The project schedule is not going to be affected, so no harm done, right? If the activity was supposed to take three days, but we spent five days on it, in whose budget should we put the two extra days of labor and or resource usage? We just wasted two days of effort, and probably at overtime pay rates. No harm done? Try explaining that to your boss. So, then what do we mean by slack? Essentially, we still want to spend only three days of effort on J. However, we have the flexibility to schedule those three days within a five-day window. Suppose activity J involves some electrical work, for which I have requested my electrician friend's help. He is able to come on the long weekend and can finish the three days' worth of work. I have scheduled activity J for days 17, 18, and 19, whereas the long weekend falls on days 19, 20, and 21. No problem, I can push the activity out by two days to coincide with the long weekend. Another thing to notice with the slack. Activities G and J have two days of slack, while I has an extra day. We cannot interpret this as each activity having two plus days of slack. Suppose I used up two days of slack for activity G, so it finishes on day 18. J now has no slack left. I still has the one extra day, but not the three days originally estimated. So the two days of slack that G used up was essentially the total slack which was shared by G, I, and J, not two days for each one. 